Mac Voices is supported by Addo, the power behind the storage. Addo offers the most connectivity choices for Mac OS with a wide range of Thunderbolt and host bus adapters for high performance and low latency network storage connectivity. Visit addo.com to learn more. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is AltConf, and we are in San Jose talking to Rob Elkin of AltConf, one of the founders of AltConf. Rob, it's great to see you again another year. Always a pleasure to be here, Chuck. Always a pleasure. I, I love it. You don't even look too exhausted this year so far. Well, as with every year, I don't actually do the real work. Anna does the real work. I think you're talking to her later. But uh, yeah, so for me, it's uh, turn up and do fun things like this with you. So. <laughs> well, thank you for saying that this is a fun thing. <laughs> This year, all conf I mean, first of all, the event, as always, is phenomenal. But this year, you've expanded it a bit uh, to not just here and not just London, but to a number of other sites around the world. Yeah, so uh, so after London went really well last year, um, we, I decided, you know what, we need to, to keep that going. Um, last year, we just in London did a, uh, a keynote viewing and a, a panel discussion. And I thought, you know what, that went so well, um, there's more that we can do here. So I originally planned to do a, a one-day conference in London as well so a one day conference fin finishing with the keynote uh, viewing um, and then what I decided to do as well how can we really like take this up a notch uh, so then I added Paris Berlin and Madrid uh, to that schedule as well so this year we did five simultaneous conferences on Monday um, and that was really really amazing so it worked out really well um, each one of them uh, was a, a day of conference uh, so talks from the local community um, followed by the keynote viewing at the end. Which, of course, is a little bit different here because we got the keynote first thing and then you have the conferences afterward. Yeah, so it just, it's all dependent on that time zone, right? Um, and uh, and if, we, if and when we uh, hopefully get, you know, the likes of Tokyo or Sydney, then what you'll see is you'll see the keynote right at the start of Tuesday followed by a conference. Uh, so it'll be like all over the place. Uh, so just dep it depends on the time zone, depends on the, uh, it depends on the local community, I think. Yeah. Well, from what I, I went on Twitter and checked the hashtags and from what I saw it looked like every one of them you know had a lot of people tweeting a lot of people really enthused and enjoying the event and the fact that they they couldn't come to San Jose but they had something as close to it as you were going to get in something a little closer to them yeah absolutely uh, look not everyone wants to come here and uh, not everyone can afford to come here and it's really nice to be able to put something on locally for people um, I think that's really cool um, and uh, yeah, we, we hit all of our uh, all of our targets for for attendees for each of them. So uh, we had you know 70 to 100 attendees for each of the conferences, conference days, um, and then you're probably looking at 100 to 200 people added on top of that for the keynote. Uh, I still have to do all the maths on it and see see what happened. Um, and I'll do that after this week is over. But uh, it looks like it was very very successful, and all the pictures looked amazing. Uh, all the venues were great. Uh, so yeah, it was very very successful. Rob, isn't it? First of all, just the organization never fails to amaze me locally, let alone taking it around the world. And then stack on top of that that it's an all-volunteer effort just is, is, is mind-blowing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing, right? Um, yeah, everybody, especially for the satellites, it was all volunteers, uh, their first time doing it. Um, and that was, uh, that was really amazing to, to be able to do. Um, I think that people understand what we're trying to achieve and, and react to that. Um, and that's really amazing. Um, uh, another thing, uh, like on a volunteer like uh, topic, um, really nice story from from this year in San Jose is we had the, the line out for uh, for the keynote on Monday, um, and there were a couple of guys at the front of the line who just happened to be at the front of the line, and uh, and I was talking to them, and they were like, oh, can we help? How can we help? Uh, I want to do something. So I got them a couple of T-shirts, and they ran the line for us, and they loved it. Uh, they they thought it was great, and actually they're volunteering at random things uh, for the rest of the week as well. So uh, people just get excited and enthusiastic about it and want to do something, and then. Uh, and we're always happy to, to have them. So, well, that's because I've talked to some of the volunteers in the past. In fact, I I talked to Kendall, who was one of the volunteer organizers on the early alt cons today, and. Yeah, it just it keeps going. I mean, you know, obviously you can only do that for so long and then life gets in the way. But there's always somebody to step in and do it. And that right now Anna's doing it and she's doing an incredible job. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Kendall, uh, to touch on him, um, he, he 
literally organized all the volunteering for the first couple of years and did such an amazing job. Um, he served his time and now he gets to be all conf alumni. Uh, like he, he was saying to me, oh, should I get in this line or should I do this? And I'm like, eh, Kendall, you just go wherever you want. You do whatever you want. Like, uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, and look, Anna is, uh, as always, doing an amazing job. Um, like it's her, uh, her full-time gig for four months of the year. Um, and, uh, and that's really cool that we're able to do that. So we're not completely volunteer um, uh, led at this point, uh, but I think we get to step it up an extra extra level because we get to have Anna full time. Yes. So. Oh, absolutely! And at some point, you know, I, I watched. I won't get into that story, but I watched the the volunteer meetings up here, um, getting ready for AltConf, and everybody's got the T-shirts on, and you know, you've got your code of conduct, and you've explained that to them, and you explain it to the attendees. It's just such an amazing effort. It's so well organized. I, I've, I've been to plenty of corporate events that probably have 500 times your budget, and they aren't nearly well as organized. Yeah, well, we've been, uh, we've been doing it for a while. We've got our patter down now, um, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I think we do pretty well with it. We do pretty well. Something you gl just glanced over, and I think it's important to let people know. You say that people get what you're trying to achieve. So what are you trying to achieve? <laughs> uh, do I even know that, actually? I don't know. People kind of instinctively get it, but can I, uh, can I articulate what it is? Uh, look, we're trying to put on an amazing event for the community. That's what it is. Um, and, uh, and I think um, you know, what we're trying to do now is we're trying to expand it as much as possible. And we can expand it here in San Jose by putting on different types of events. And we talk about what, we, what we're doing this year for that. Um, but we can also expand it right around the world and, and make it accessible to to other people and other types of people that can't make it here and that's that's the real goal that's what the goal has been the entire time is just make this as accessible as possible to as many different types of people um, and uh, and we were doing that through the fact that literally anyone can walk up literally anyone can walk in uh, you don't have to pay for a ticket there's free tickets for everything um, and now we're trying to bring that to people who maybe can't make it over here and we'll bring that closer to them I do not want to overlook the conference tracks here because the conference tracks are amazing. I've, I've, I've only gotten to stick my head into a couple, but I've also talked to people coming out of some. I've talked to a couple presenters, and they're just all over the place in the most positive sense. Uh, there's some that are very technical. There's some that are very community-oriented, and that makes you a little bit different than that other conference that's going on across the street that is put on by Apple because that's a lot more technical. Yeah. This is a lot more... It feels like it's it's a lot more community oriented. Yeah, well, look, we get to explore and and uh, adventure with our topics, right? Um, we get to to play with it a little bit, um, and we get to just um, have a little bit more fun with it, and uh, and have a broad spectrum of things that we want to talk about. Uh, we don't want to like pigeonhole ourselves into one thing. Um, there are lots and lots of different uh, types of developers, lots of different types of people. There are business people, designers, lots of people come to Allcom, and we want to try and represent all of them um, and we do that in, a, in the topics that we have we have 90 different speakers I think uh, spread across the three speaking days um, and two tracks so we have a lot of opportunity to do lots of different things as well so dare I ask what you might have in your mind about next year or is it a little too early to think about that um, it's not necessarily too early uh, I mean We'll, we'll try and, I would really like to do the same five conferences again, and then I would like to add some more satellites on. Um, there's some people that I've been talking to um, that, uh, that have been interested in doing that, but maybe I was talking to them a little bit too late for this year, but we can talk for next year. So maybe add a couple more satellites, that would be great. Um, there's, uh, there's some stuff we were experimenting with this year that, that we'll definitely try and do again. Um, I think the escape room has, uh, has gone down really, really well. I mean, we sold out of that, so that's amazing. Um, um, and from everything that I've heard, I haven't done it yet myself, but everything that I've heard, uh, people are loving it. So I'd really like to do that again if, uh, if we can have that back. Um, the labs are going fantastically, uh, so we'll de definitely try and do that again. Um, it's continuation and, and maybe a, a few additions. And you know what? We get to play with it a little bit. Um, we get to do exciting and like 
just random things, right? So if people come to come to me or Anna with an idea, then uh, then we'll try and do it. Chadwick came with the escape room idea this year, and we're like, yeah, sure, we'll give it a go. Why not? Um, it's uh, it's minimal uh, impact uh, for us to do it. We have the spare space, so we'll we'll try it, um, and uh, and that's working really well. So it's that experimental attitude, it's that can-do attitude, though combined, that makes yeah. this conference. I think. Well, exactly. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think a, a nice example of that, and you you'll have seen this uh, particular uh, bit of fun that we had today uh, but came up some of us came up with the idea last night of uh, of why don't we have a picture of uh, Dave Verwer so that people could take a picture with Dave Verwer uh, so uh, so we printed out a six foot uh, Dave um, and now it's over there and people are taking pictures with it like we just like have fun with things and people enjoy it and that's that's what we want and, and that's that's so important the fun aspect of this conference is so important yeah. and it works yeah so exactly yeah and uh, uh, and look, we, we've, as you can see, lots and lots of people around. Uh, we've got drinks on every uh, every afternoon, brings a lot of people together, and that's that's an amazing part of the conference as well. Um, uh, so, yeah. Well, this is happy hour going on back here. I want to let you get to it, but thanks so much, not only for everything with AltConf, but thanks for taking the time to talk to us. You're perfectly welcome. It's any time, Chuck, any time. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Folks, we'll have more from AltConf because it's far from over from San Jose. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.